smoking weed, and man boobs. Two things in life that just might have a sneaky connection. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Man boobs, it's a common complaint amongst guys. The formal name of the condition is gynecomastia and it affects anywhere between a third and a half of men between the ages of 25 and 45. Man boobs are worth talking about because they can be a real source of shame for guys. Some say they feel insecure about taking off their shirt, like they're gonna be laughed at or judged by a partner. And while the stereotype is that this is something that happens only to bigger guys who have an unhealthy diet, it actually happens to guys of all sizes and fitness levels. That's because gynecomastia isn't affected by weight, and it's especially common during puberty. This is because the condition is caused by hormonal changes, specifically when there's less testosterone or more estrogen than is found in a typical male. But could doobies be creating boobies? It's one of the most important scientific questions of our time, friends. For a long time, people have thought that marijuana may cause gynecomastia. The first study to test the theory happened over 40 years ago in 1972. The study, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, found that marijuana did have widespread effects on the user's hormonal systems and regulation, making the theory that marijuana causes breast growth a definite possibility. However, as all you good little d -new scientists know, a good result is one that can be replicated by other independent research groups. And later studies done on the connection between marijuana use and man boobs were kind of a mixed bag. One study done on mice found that exposure to THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, reduced testosterone levels and affected the functionality of the mice's sperm. But what that means for humans is a little unclear. Another anonymous study done on US soldiers found that the rates of gynecomastia were no higher amongst those who admitted to smoking weed than those who didn't. The problem with the follow-up research is that weed has, up till pretty recently, been illegal. It's nearly impossible for scientists to take an in-depth look at how THC affects your hormone levels. But field professionals like the plastic surgeons of the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery say that they do notice a connection. Dr. Anthony Yoon reports that about one in three of his male patients who come in for breast reductions are marijuana users. It's also the case that over 90 prescription drugs have been linked to gynecomastia, including some antidepressants, antibiotics, and heart medications. So, more research is definitely needed. That's right, we're coming for you, Colorado and Washington. Thanks for joining me for DNews, my friends. If you're interested in other studies about marijuana, check out our other videos on it over here, and we'll see you next time.